listening to the map. Welcome to another brand new day and a brand new show. It's seven o'clock and time now for cruising down the expressway. My name's Dan and I'll have great music and some interesting stories to help you get your day off on the right track or the right highway. I found it out at for what they see. Let us live this one. We'll be forever young. Give us peace. Let us live as one. We'll be forever young. Give us peace.
sisters out on the sidewalk Both of them know it's the end Too late now, too late to keep on running You gotta move fast before the others can reach you You gotta move fast before the others can Hey, we've got a traffic report that those of you going northbound will hit some road service, so take it easy. But for those of you who are southbound, you've got a pretty clear road ahead, so enjoy the ride. And remember, drive safely.
Your dial is set to the station that features cruising down the expressway with yours truly, and this little note that, no, Crystal Gale is not about to cut her ankle-length hair, despite a nationwide rumor. Gale's manager husband, Bill, said if Gale shed her hair, she wouldn't be able to stand up straight. And the weather today is fair all day with northerly winds gusting at 5 miles an hour. We'll have a high of 23 and a low of 15. And lots of sunshine today, so enjoy the day.
Love's a precious kind of thing Somewhere in the rainbow sky You never know till it's gone River of life got an article here. Uh, Sylvester Stallone, who beat heavyweight boxing champions as Rocky and won wars single-handed as Rambo, has received court protection from a persistent woman fan. Alfie Wade was alleged to have handwritten more than 200 letters and postcards to the actor in the last 20 months, telling him, I can't wait to get my paws on you. She was ordered by Superior Court Judge Irving Schmier to keep at least 300 yards from Stallone and his home in Malibu and not to telephone or write to him for at least three years.
I don't want what I haven't got. 1990's top pop breakthrough brought Shanid O'Connor a lot more than she wanted. Her second self-produced album, which was number one in Billboard for eight weeks, has sold three million copies. It was number one for a month and winner of three MTV awards, including Video of the Year. But sudden mammoth stardom carries a price to pay for the Irish singer. It's affected my life immensely, which makes me unhappy, she once said. I want people to like my records, but I don't want to be a star. I never said I did. That's not the reason I make records. Yes, it means you can't have your cake and eat it too.
says here that Soviet space officials applied some old-fashioned remedies for a cosmonaut who had caught a cold in space. Take lots of vitamin C and don't go outside. Officials postponed a spacewalk because Gennady Strekalov caught a cold while working out on an onboard running track, according to the official news agency TASS. Strekalov was also supposed to make repairs on a hatch. He's been told, stay in bed. And a reminder that you're listening to Cruising Down the Expressway with Dan. And we got another article here. Uh, it says that 45% of all Americans entertain at home at least twice a month. But it can be stressful, according to the Dixie Product Survey, anyway. Reasons for the concern? 20% get the blahs just thinking about the post-party cleanup. 20% worry about having a good time with the guests. 26% concern themselves with having enough food and drink. 33% wonder if the guests are going to enjoy themselves, and 36% get stressed because they don't think they'll be ready on time. What to do? Plan a late party and use paper plates. Hey guys, you want to know who's responsible for those black lace bras, skin-tight biker shorts, and fishnet stockings that are turning up in your girlfriend's closets? YM Magazine identifies singers Nina Cherry, Janet Jackson and Madonna, model Claudia Schiffer, and actress Julie Roberts as the foremost fashion trendsetters. Don't worry, some of the looks, like Roberts jeans, t-shirt, and navy blazers, are classic, but you may want to draw the line at Madonna's nuclear warhead bras.
And just for your information, director John Avildsen, the guy who directed Rocky and the Karate Kid, went looking for an authentic melange of street toughs to star in his new film. It'll be called The Gladiators, and it will be a look at the seamy side of amateur boxing. He held his open casting call in, where else? New York. Hopefuls showed up at the American Theater of Actors on West 54th Street. And naturally, no fighting was allowed. Well, we got a new disease, a brand new illness for you. It's called CFS, or Chronic Fatigue Syndrome. Dr. David Bell realized that what many doctors have been calling the yuppie flu may not be something that just affects yuppies. It could be a potentially major public health problem. What's there to watch out for? Well, CFS often starts with a distinct flu-like symptom. It leaves the patient sick, weak, and extremely tired for at least six months. It includes swollen glands, muscle and joint pain, sore throat, feverishness, dizziness, headaches, and problems in concentration and memory. Sounds like a normal condition. And it tends to wax and wane, worsening after exertion, infections, and stress. And here we thought it was just middle age.
Here she is, Miss America. Did you know that since the Miss America pageant began, the powers that be have been tinkering with the scoring, giving one category greater weight one year and devaluing it the next? In the recent pageant, the volatile swimsuit category only accounted for 15% of the score, that's too bad, as did the evening gown competition. The interview got 30%, and the talent contest accounted for a whopping 40% of the tally. The party's here, come on. Get into gear, just groove on. We're gonna dance, dance all night. We're gonna dance, feeling right. We're gonna dance, out of sight, out of sight. can be dancing, dancing. get your dancing shoes and come along the party's here come on get into gear just groove on we're gonna dance dance all night we're gonna dance feeling right we're gonna dance out of sight Look, if you're kind of into animals, you love them and things of that nature, you may have a dilemma as to what you can eat. It's true that you don't have to be a vegetarian, but it sure seems to help in some cases. Well, at least at the 10th anniversary gala of People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals in Washington, D.C., their cruelty-free dinner menu ran like this. Melon soup, sautéed potato and corn cake, vegetables and black beans, potato tart with leeks and tofu, a ravioli filled with ratatouille, the carrot and asparagus mousse, of course, and salad and rolls. As for dessert, tofu ice cream with toppings. Bon appétit.
doctors, four years of college, four years of medical school, and four years of hospital internship are enough. But some physicians are now spending an additional two years to earn their master's degree in business administration and management. Says Thomas Barron, a urologist who runs a clinic in Springfield, Illinois, you can always hire consultants to tell you what to do. But the problem is, you don't know whether they're giving you good advice. this just in right now and just in time for the recession comes the new Neiman Marcus shopping catalog of course filled with extravagant items for people who otherwise wouldn't know how to spend their money recommendations include Napoleon's gold trim spectacles only $90,000 including a leather case of course a $55 gold plated slinky and a $3,220 doghouse According to Parents Magazine, 85% of us wouldn't quit our jobs if we woke up with a million dollars in our bank accounts. In a survey of 1,000 adults, 50% felt that while the money would make you feel comfortable, it isn't enough to make you feel really rich. And 23% said having one million dollars is no big deal. So much for inflation and the great American dream.
this is really good. Dick. The Soviet Union's first canned dog food has been put on sale in Moscow's pet and hunting shops, according to Reuters, anyway. But there are some problems. An 11-ounce can of Dick costs 1.5 rubles. That's $2.60 at the official exchange rate. Now, for that amount, a Muscovite could buy nearly a kilogram of meat at the official state price, which means at the moment, dogs are eating the same meat that's intended for people. Or is that the other way around? Well, that's all the time that we have for today. Thanks for your time. This time, until next time, you take it easy and have a great day.